six feet, six figure, six pack. Let's talk about it. Uh, so six feet, a man can't control that. I find it hilarious that women have decided, or at least that the masses are saying that women have decided uh, that a guy has to be six feet. So what's supposed to happen to everybody else in the population who's under six feet? Are they supposed to just die alone? That makes no sense at all. Not to mention women ain't that damn tall. So why is over six feet like the thing we go for? What's wrong with 5'10"? Okay, six figures. Let's just be real. Everybody ain't earning that. Everybody not gonna earn that. And frankly, I don't understand why you are measuring a man and his capability on earning potential on what he has today. But sure, let's go with that. Six pack. Mm, do you have yourself in shape? Why are we over here talking about what a man got to look like aesthetically? I mean, I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with preferences, but unless you want to die alone and you're really okay with that, I think some of y'all really need to reevaluate your list. Team, another satisfying TikTok, indeed. So I love strolling through TikTok these days and finding these gems of women holding other women accountable. You know, there's always this talk about six pack, six figures, six feet. And unfortunately, women don't think all the way through that there's not a lot of men taller than six feet. The vast majority of men who are over six feet are athletes. And there's only a small segment of society that's that tall, right? So women, when they're in their prime or when they're in their physical peak, you know, they have options, man. They have endless amount of options. And, and what they do is they come up with these criteria to try to eliminate their options or to try to make their options uh, seem more palatable. <laughs> But they, they, they use these criterias, which is which is basically a part of the male uh, uh, biology that we can't, you know, we ain't got no control of, over. But, you know, it brings me to my next topic. <laughs> you know, let me not let me not stay on that too long. Six figures. Right. Now, a lot of uh, young young guys growing up are not earning the amount of money that they could potentially earn down the road which women eliminate them from the dating pool because of where they are currently. You know, where you are currently does not mean that's your full potential. You know, they don't give guys an opportunity to reach their full potential because they eliminate you based on what you're currently earning rather than what you're, what you're potentially could be earning. A guy in, uh, in school trying to be a lawyer, a guy in med school trying to be a doctor, you know, those guys get eliminated based on where they are currently versus where they could be you know, five, maybe 10 years down the road. And the, 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 the dreaded six pack, not everybody's in peak physical shape. Not everybody's in peak physical shape. You know why? It's hard. It is hard as hell to stay in shape. It is hard as hell to stay disciplined on your diet. It's hard as hell to get into the gym and exercise. You know, so the, the, the large population is obese or overweight. You know, there's not a lot of fit people. Most fit people are, you know, uh, within their 20s, teenage years, 20s, uh, early 30s. After that, you know, you're not going to find a lot of people with six packs. It's hard, man. It's, it's a hard, it's a hard task to try to maintain your, your midsection. But anyways, I'm glad to see another TikTok, a TikToker out here uh, holding holding people accountable you know you know if, if, if you have these criteria you have to be able to have them on yourself and set your own personal standards you have to have them you know all right guys see you guys on the next one peace